What a firm handshake you got there. Thank you very much. I try, I try to keep it firm and look the person in the eye. I know. Well, see, and now like, when I shake your hand, I tried to do it firm, but you're so much more firm. You, you outdid mine. So. They say I'm strong, but I, I think my arms could be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Well, that's okay. I think, I think you've got me beat. So. Ah, they're pretty good, though. They're pretty good. <laughs> How did you get involved in the business? Well, I got involved with WWE a couple of years ago. I was actually in Las Vegas, and I heard that they were out there. And actually, had the flu. I didn't even have a voice. It's laryngitis. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to go out there and show my face. If they don't like me, they don't like me. And you know what? It's just all kind of... It's gotten here. It's been, it's been a crazy journey. It's the personality. I can tell already. <laughs> Maybe it's that I talk too much or I'm a little crazy, but... Do people tell you you need to stop talking? It certainly happens to me all the time. Uh, you know what? They don't tell it to my face, so that's good. It's a pretty face. It's probably because me, they don't, that's why they tell it to they me. They probably turn around and they're like, oh, gosh, she's so annoying, but that's okay. What does, it feel to, what does it feel like to walk down that ramp and have 25,000 people going nuts? Walking down the ramp is, it is the most electrifying feeling because there are so many people around you just screaming your name, reaching out to touch you, and you're clapping hands. It's such an energetic experience. It, there's no adrenaline rush like it. I'm a scuba diver. I jump off of anything like rocks and mountains. I'll jump off of kind of crazy and adventurous, but um, nothing, nothing beats that. Nothing beats walking down. There. Coolest country you've ever jumped off a rock in? Oh, you know what? The best one I ever did was Hawaii, so it's the U.S. But it was so cold because it was 25 feet over a waterfall, and it was just so beautiful. And I just went, "All right, let's go!" And I just took off running and jumped off into the middle. It was so cool. One female performer, past or present, that you would want to work. In the ring, I would have to actually say. Or you could pick a guy. Oh, I could pick a guy. Hmm. I would like to. Oh my gosh, you've totally stumped me. <laughs> Ric Flair. You know what? Brett the Hitman Hart. I think I would have to go with Ric Flair or China. Or, you know what? Uh, Shawn Michaels, because he's a personal favorite of mine. Really? Yeah. Now, have you been a fan of Shawn Michaels for years? Yeah, you know what? Uh, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Max, WrestleMania. That was WrestleMania 10. Yeah, the hour, the hour long <laughs> yes. Iron Man. Match. Yes, I loved every minute of it. Most amazing match I've ever seen. So that that made me a very, very big fan of him. And oh, it's so cool being able to work with him. Rumor has it you were hooked the moment you saw him glide down on that sick board. And Vince was like, "What a ride! What a ride!" <laughs> Is that the rumor? That's the rumor going around Hollywood right now. Oh, I see. Any other rumors? That's the only one that popped up on my BlackBerry. Oh, I see. You're a BlackBerry fan. Not an iPhone guy. Oh no! You're an iPhone I, girl. I She's, they love the iPhone. You know what? But I just switched. I just I had the BlackBerry and I was like, I will never switch. And then I switched, and now the iPhone is like, it's my lifeline. I'm like, I don't know where. If I don't know where it is, I need it. I need it. Oh my Beautiful. God. I love the energy. Keep it up. Great talking with you. You as well. Thank, Thank you. you.